Welcome back, it's all there again and if you're new, welcome for the first time ever and if you, anyways, thank you for clicking on this video and I'm super excited because it is fall already which means that we get to drink pumpkin spice lattes non-stop we get to wear burgundy colors like this I mean, it's just overall Fall is one of my favorite seasons, if not my favorite season of them all. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some room decor, how to spice up your room for fall. Even though it's fall, like sometimes it's just like 100 degrees outside, which I'm like, I don't know, global warming guys, global warming, it does exist. Everything's very inexpensive, which for me that's a plus because I always say that you can take something very cheap and make it look very glamorous as you can see in the background. And yeah guys, hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully you guys get inspired with it too. And without any further ado, let's get started with this video, shall we? The first thing that I'll be making are these candles. Basically all you need is candles, which I got mine from the dollar store, as well as some ribbons. Technically I am just taking my very bright orange ribbon and cutting a piece of it and gluing it to the first candle. I also glue some autumn leaves. I put three exactly in the center. Then I took some brown twine and placed it right where the leaves were and twirl it around a couple of times and that is set for the first one. For the second one, I glue this really sparkly tool. Then here, I was deciding what ribbon will look best on top of it. Also, in the last minute, I glue some leaves and that is set for this super easy DIY. I love them when I left them. For my second DIY, I'll be creating these pumpkins made out of yarn. The first step that I am gonna do is to take my bowl and add water. The second step is to literally dump all the glue into the water. Then I am going to very carefully mix the glue until the water gets thick and you will know when it does get thicker because you will feel it in your hands. Lastly, to make the pumpkin, it is very easy. I'll soak the yarn in the mixture that I just did. I also blew up a balloon already and I'm simply going to just wrap the yarn all over the balloon and there is no special way to wrap it guys. I naturally just wrap the balloon and I just see what areas need more coverage than others and fair warning it is going to get a little bit messy because <laughs> you will get water all over the place. Once I am done, I'll leave it overnight so it can fully get dry and hard. Furthermore, this is how it will look like. Pop the balloon and ta-da, you get a beautiful pumpkin. To make it more believable that in fact it is a pumpkin, I am gonna take a black pipe cleaner and create the stem of the pumpkin and then I also use some orange pipe cleaners and just insert them on each side of the black pipe cleaner and the last step guys is optional but to make my pumpkins more attractive I did put fairy lights inside and this is the final result <laughs> For my last DIY, I'll be creating a pumpkin spice latte. I cannot get any more basic than this, but it's fall and I just had to do it. First thing is to take a black sharpie and draw a line all around the pumpkin. Next, I am going to take a creamish vanilla paint and paint the whole bottom of the pumpkin, which this is indeed my latte that I am painting. When it dries, I'll take my sharpie again and go over the line again just in case if I did paint it with the paint. Now, to create the whipped cream, 
I'll use cotton balls and I will glue them with hot glue and I did it in the form of a pyramid so it was five at the bottom four on the second row and then one on top to continue I'll take my black sharpie again and write the words pumpkin spice latte literally my hand was shaking throughout this whole process I was like really hand really but somehow I did do it and it looks very nice I mean it is my handwriting so I have to say that <laughs> I also created a straw with a cake pop dowel and a black pipe. I did insert it on this side, but then I changed my mind and I stuck it on the other side as you can see here. And I just thought that it looked a lot better and more realistic. The last part is optional, like legit optional, but I did add it like real cinnamon spice. And so far I don't have any cockroaches in my little wardrobe, so I'm pretty sure that it is safe. So that is it guys for all of these DIYs and hopefully you guys enjoy them and get inspired to do them. I swear I live. So that was it guys, hopefully you guys liked this video and if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below. But anyways guys, comment something down below, also seeing what is your favorite thing about fall, is it the lattes or is it the colors, is it the season of just overall in general? Does that even make sense? No? Okay. As always, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And all of those are the Aldo trend. And for Snapchat, it's hewolf 31st I just... I don't even ask. I just... <laughs> I came up with that name and literally now I'm just kind of regretting it every day. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Fall is the season, right? Okay, this is where I should be paying attention in school. I'm talking to God. Ah! Uh, uh, no, wait.